What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Ton Time. This is your host, Donnie. And today, we'll be just doing a quick unboxing of this new CPU that just came out in November. Um, got it on a Black Friday deal. I believe it's retail for like $420, $440, but I got it for $350 at Micro Center um, as a Cyber Monday Black Friday deal. Um, it's just a Core i7. It's not Core i9, but I didn't want to build a super high-end system, just something that's good enough for gaming with my 3090. I'll still be doing most of my work on my um, Apple laptop, but this is just a gaming PC that I wanted to build because my old, my other PC is getting old. So this is Core i7, 12th gen, with the LGA 1700 socket, which is this guy here. So this is a retail packaging here. It, uh, this one does not come with any fan cooler. It's just the CPU itself. So uh, packaging is pretty, you know, standard Intel blue packaging. Nothing special. You got the seal here. Make sure it's nicely sealed when you get it. You got a bunch of barcodes on the left side for serial numbers and lot numbers and whatnot. You can see the chip in the back here. Yep, so this is the retail package. So let's go ahead and open it up. So it's still factory sealed from Intel with their little special tape, but I'm gonna open it up now. So you guys can see what's in the packaging. All right, so upon opening it, you get this little cardboard bat box that holds the CPU. And then you got this um, instruction manual of how to install the CPU. And then it comes with a little sticker also that you could tear out and put on your PC if you feel like. So you got the manual, the processors in this box here. Um, so let's see how do you open this contraption out of here. So there's a little tab. Two tabs on each side. Press down. They really secured it pretty good. All right, so once you open the tab, here's the CPU itself. Core i7. Actually, a lot more pins. This has, I think the i7 has eight performance cores and four efficiency cores. So it's pretty much a big performance from the previous generation, 11 and 10. So it uses a different socket, so keep that in mind. You'll need to use the CPU with the Z690 chipset. Um, the CPU works with DDR4 or DDR5 memory. So if you want to go the high end, you want the auto performance you can get, DDR5 is recommended, but it's kind of scarce and expensive right now. So for me, I just went with the DDR4 route. Um, I didn't need super performance, just good enough to run uh, games in high frame rates. Um, so I got my G4 3090 NVIDIA card for that and I think the DDR4, DDR4 memory is good enough but some people want to squeeze every performance out of their system so I get it so you'll want to get the Core i9 for that but yeah this is good enough for me since it's just a part-time gaming system that I will be uh, building so yeah this is pretty much everything that you see here so so yeah um, that's pretty much the whole unboxing of this video guys so I don't, know, I don't even remember how this <laughs> goes back but anyways that's pretty much it if you guys like the video go ahead and hit the like button subscribe that's pretty much it for this video um, nothing special in this unboxing just the CPU uh, and the retail packaging no no fans or anything so that that's the unboxing I do have a core i9 coming my brother is going uh, is getting the i9 one so I'll unbox that I think there was something special in the i9 since it's a higher end one but I'll go ahead and do that on another video when his processor comes in so yeah that's everything in the box guys thanks for watching hit that like button if you like the video thank you you can subscribe if you like to um, and yeah thanks for watching as always, peace out till next time and stay safe out there.